And away they go. Got them away to a really good beginning with Living Waters moving up on the far side of Frankie Two Shoes. Those two show the way to Crusade Star. Eagle's Vision settles in fourth at the rail, followed by Grey Lingari, then comes Tail Spin. Further back to Select Reserve, Master George Arctic Warfare is towards their outside, then came behind that along the inside, Pure Quality. Master Dante is towards the rear of the field, followed by Elegantly Sexy. Then comes City D. Fade to Black is back one from last. And at the rear of the field is Black Fox as they work their way past the 1,000 metres disc. And uh, Living Waters has found the lead and the rail. Living Waters by a length. Master George begins to close ground along his outside in second. Grey Lingari races third. Frankie Two Shoes is back in fourth position. Then Crusade Star. He races along the outside of Eagle's Vision. Then we have a two length gap to a tailspin select reserve along his inside they followed by arctic warfare then comes city deep behind that is uh, along the inside master dante fade to black is further back in the field they straighten up and head for the judge 500 to go a couple of reminders now for along the inside frankie two shoes is starting to challenge for the lead living waters is still right there under warren kennedy eagles vision moving up along between horses master george is to the outside then comes gray lingari but living waters continues to respond he continues to give to warren kennedy he's been hard at work at him from the top of the straight but black fox has come from the rear of the field and he's charging home on the outside but living waters is too far clear living waters wins at a length and a quarter from black fox in second fade to black also broke Progress from the rear of the field to run third, and then came Pure Quality, followed by Grey Lingari. Well, this was no easy ride for Warren Kennedy. Full marks to him. He had a wide gate to deal with. He bounced him out quickly and then found a rails position soon after the start. But he had to keep his mind up to the job. He pulled the, the, the crop a little bit early in the straight just to keep his mind on the job. But that was the right tactics. He stays on very strongly. The winning margin rapidly diminishing at the end as both Black Fox and uh, Faye to Black came storming home from the rear of the field to fill the second and third positions respectively. Those three well clear of the fourth placed horse. That will, in fact, go to Grey Lingari, a short head in front of pure quality with Eagle's vision along their inside. Let's have a look at the head on. And as you can see, uh, Living Waters is under a punishing ride from Warren Kennedy from a long way out. But he's stuck to his guns, he's stuck to his task and thwarted uh, all the challenges, which eventually came right on the stand side of the track. As you can see, Black Fox is hard up against the outside rail. Fade to Black has also run on from the rear. Living Waters is still very green, very much all over the track, but he does enough to land the honours by a length or so from Black Fox in second, Fade to Black third, and Grey Lingari will round off the quartet only by a nose as we say goodbye from Hollywood Bet Scottsville for the time being and head you back to the Teletrack Studios in Ravonia. Just seen Living Waters come through to win and going off his favourite, so well fancied. And Warren Kennedy doing the job. First two races at Hollywood Bet Scottsville belong to the punters. A horse who looked in the right type of space. Yeah, well done there. The horse is winning, but uh, he's working hard too. Uh, thank you from the owners, from the, the governor, the sale. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you. Winning rider, Warren Kennedy. He's making his way back. He's got his cap on. Keep him out of the sun. It's quite warm out there. And you had that draw to negotiate. Yeah, Sheldon, but he, he does have great gates to be this horse. And, uh, you know, last time, being his first on the poly, I thought I'd better get a lead around. And, and Gavin spoke to me after and said, you know, maybe we should just let him go. So I, I, I remembered what he said to me, and he broke out really well. Happy to take it up. Very immature still. He wasn't getting into stride, top of the straight out, to drop him two once he leveled out, just to get him going so they didn't get to me too easily. But, um, yeah, he ran all the way to the line. They came at him going through the 300. He, he skipped away again. So he was always looking for something to come and challenge him, probably looking for a bit more ground. But, yeah, lovely to get the win on the belt. Now you've got a horse called Wave. At the weights, he looks the right one, but there's one or two who could press him. And then you've got Wiz of Odds, who you've made no secret she's decent. Yeah, look, no secret Wiz of Odds. We think we think's pretty special. Um, she's got to sure, prove it. She proved it last time, but uh, got to follow up on that. you know. Um, but I think she's definitely capable. I, I really believe she should be hard to beat. And Wave, yeah, look, he, he's a one-time winner with a rating of 111. But um, he is up to the task. He's, he's run consistent cracker races. So he brings any of those runs, uh, he should win. Well done. Thanks very much. Just well done to Deshaun. 
and to Kevin, who's in Cape Town at the sales, and uh, yeah, to my sponsors, Winning Form. Thanks very much. Super. A lot of the trainers down in the Cape, they're going to select their next horses to fill the stables, and then let's pan across to number 13, Red 13, the winning groom, Nkosa Tandle, and thanks to Nom Tandaz, a thousand rand token there, and that is on half of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Well done to all concerned, race number two.